Hello, I'm M.K. Davis. I've got some more on the famous, uh, the infamous uh, Tent Peaker video, uh, the one taken by Rick Dyer uh, in Texas last year. Uh, and now that I've got a little bit of a tool to work with to try to get some of those tones down a little bit on that mesh screen, uh, then I'm able to kind of get the contrast up on the subject itself. And then I begin hand stabilization, which is, you know, far more accurate than, you know, the computer programmed anti-shake type stuff. Uh, so I took it individual frames and I, and I, stabilized it on the subject's nose because it when it turns around to look back at the camera its its nose is showing dead center of the face so you got a, a pretty good little run of frames with it in that position what you're looking to do is if you hold that nose dead still in one spot everything surrounding it that moves is going to become more obvious so I'm looking for facial expression, facial movement, eyes, lips, anything that shows around that nose. Um, and uh, let's look at the raw footage first. Let's take a look at it. Now this has been already been stabilized by a computer, uh, so it, it, but it's not good enough. As you can see, the subject is still moving around. Uh, quite a bit of movement there, so we want to get it better than that. So I'm going to go into a hand stabilization. Once again, this is a frame by frame hand stabilized clip here, and it's holding it dead steady on the nose, dead center with the nose. Anything going on around that face is going to be uh, seen to uh, any kind of movement is going to be more obvious. Uh, and this is as at live speed, so uh, you, you have to look at it close. And then I'm going to switch over to a slow mo for your for your benefit, so you can see them kind of the frames kind of click through, you know, one at a time. Uh, and I, I will say this, you know, um, uh, it, I wasn't that interested in this video until I saw the eye blink. Now I had I had been planning and thinking about using some filtration processes on it, and I sat down last night uh, when I had some time, and and I did that, and I saw the eye blink. Now that that when you see a, a physiological function like that occur, uh, uh, it raise you definitely gets my attention. Um, it's 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 like this with Bigfoot evidence. You know, it's very rare. Uh, and if you said that it all was either a mistake or a hoax, you would probably not be embarrassed much. Uh, so. My my threshold is about twenty percent. If 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 a piece of evidence uh, reaches twenty a twenty percent probability of being real, then I will agree to be hoaxed rather than let it go. And uh, at this point in time, it's it's reached that twenty percent. You know, with what I see here. So. Uh, it, could it be a hoax? Yes, it could be a hoax. It could be a very clever hoax, but it's not your run-of-the-mill hoax, uh, if it is. But, you know, there's enough chance. It's over a 20% chance of it being real. That's pretty good. And, uh, you know, uh, I say, you know, let's give it a chance to be real. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at the stabilized versions and we just watch the face all around that nose. You'll watch that nose just sit in one spot. And then uh, we'll switch to the slow-mo. Okay, let's watch it in slow motion now. Uh, here it is. Let's watch it one more time in slow motion. Here we go.
Well, there you have it. You know, I deal in video and images and film. And uh, the story behind this and everything that's going on uh, uh, in the, the whirlwind of activity around this film, uh, you probably could go over to uh, Facebook, find Bigfoot, and learn a little more about that. And, and also the crypto crew who've done a lot of investigating into the case. Uh, so I will say this, that whatever you think about the person who did it, uh, it doesn't mean much to me about who he is or, or, or what he's done or anything like that. I'm looking at this video. Uh, you know, and so uh, this video has kind of it's, it's been raised up. It raised itself up. You know, the information was always there. But when I got this enhancements and stabilizations done, then I see I see what I need to see to make me think that it's it's above twenty percent at least. Uh, and with the video alone, uh, I, irregardless of he's got a body and this person's seen a body, I you know I haven't seen the body, but you know I, I would love to see it. But it, I'm going by the video alone and from his phone, from the phone he took out of his tent, and uh, it, and that takes me alone by itself above twenty percent, and 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 I'm not throwing it out uh, until I know more. But anyway, I, 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 I hope this has been enlightening for you. It gives you a tool to make an educated decision about whether you want to believe this or not. Uh, that's, that's what my goal was when I made this little clip here. So you know, I thank you for your time.